Welcome to Hidden Gems in Visual Studio Code AL Language. Hey, I'm Eric, and um, the story behind today's video is that a few days ago I was talking, chatting with uh, Espen from Microsoft. Espen is the, you know, the main guy behind the, the AL compiler, and um, I was hinting to him that hey, couldn't you do something? Because I, I've I had I was doing something that I'll show a bit later. Uh, I was doing something that was rather annoying, um, and I thought, "Hey, it would be cool if if the compiler would do it for me." And he said, "But why don't you just use the function that will do that for you?" I said, "What?" And and I tried to access it, and it wasn't there. And then he said, "Oh, but but it might not be turned on." Um. So our story here tonight, today, whatever time it is, at your place here, it's a bit black, uh, starts in the settings section of Visual Studio uh, Code. And the settings section here, you can see that we have all the usual stuff with the editor, workbench, and windows, and features, and application. But then we also have settings for each extension you have installed. And sure, I have, I got a lot of extensions installed, but, um what I do have is of course the AL language extension because this is the AL compiler. And when we look at this, the, f the first glance you, th you you take a quick look and it says, nah, there's nothing here for me. Uh, and that's partly because yeah. the, the, the settings in here are sorted by by alphabet. So the very first setting is, are profile lenses supported? Specify whether statement lenses are supported for the profiler. It's a very technical and very specific setting. Uh, and then we got assembly pros for on-prem.net assemblies and background code analysis. It's, it's not that inviting. Uh, and, and this is just because this is the same thing that's happening for all extensions here. So it's not just the a language extension that sort of this is a VS code thing. Anyway, if we accept that that we gotta read this list carefully, uh, and apparently I never did, uh, then at some point we get down to E for enable. And one of the ones we have is enable code actions specifies whether the code action should be enabled for all files in the current project uh, which kind of is is unclear what so yeah so code actions are available for all source files files in if it's checked but if it's unchecked means that it, it's not available for anything or well Apparently that's the case. So, and and this comes from Microsoft not enabled in order to preserve performance because there is a you know when it, whenever you add code actions and, and stuff like that, um, it takes power. Uh, anyway, if you enable this, this will enable a code action, also sometimes known as a quick fix, meaning that. Now, if I go and let's let's close the settings. We know uh, I, I prepared a few things here, but let's start here. Um, so I could do a classic and say message uh, hello percent one, and I'll select the name field from the customer. This is great. We of course get a uh, a squiggly line saying hey use of implicit with will be removed in the future. Qualify with Rick. This warning will become an error, but we also have a quick fix now. Uh, sometimes also shown as you see the uh, the code action here, the, the the bulb. So now we can actually say qualify with Rick. Boom. Or if if let's undo this one again and then say uh, something like this. It doesn't really matter. The address uh, city. So now we have three issues. We can go and grab our code thingy again and say all occurrences in this object. And now they're all fixed in this entire object. That's pretty cool. Um, that's 
the implicit width, then there's also the explicit width um, suddenly available. So if I go and say, let's create an, uh, an item record here. Um, wow. My fingers are not compatible with my keyboard at this point. Uh, so we got an, uh, got an item and then we can say with item do begin something and then message um, and we'll do you know description and description two here um, because they are those of fields in the item. So we have the squiggly line here again up here. Um, we get the we get the bulb and now we can word we can convert the width statement to fully qualified statements. So let's do that. Bam. Um, so that was, that's pretty cool. That, 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 so those are two code action. So the third one is let's pretend that we have code that goes like this. So say if item dot, you know, insert posting group equal 100, then message 100 uh, else if item in inventory posting group equal 200 come on then message 200 uh, else message rest so that's a nice piece of code but this could be rewritten as a case statement so the code action recognizes this and say hey you know convert this to a case statement so boom now we have case inventory posting group of 100 message 100 200 message 200 else message the rest pretty neat um and let's continue so so those are uh, those are the the three that we get just in, in, in regular code. The one that I actually uh, was pitching about was um, that, let's say we have here, I have an interface, you know, and this is, this, is a, you know, this is a big interface, that's a tons of functions. So I need to implement this thing. So I, I get to this point here, I write my code unit and implements test interface. Then I get a million errors saying here, implement does not implement the, the member archive on posted, blah, 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 blah. So I could start by writing here and then figure out or copy pasting from the interface document. Or, and then this was the point I was saying, there has to be a better way, but there is a better way. Again, we got the, the code action here. So ignore the, the first four, the, those are from AZ um, tools, but implement interface. So I hit that, boom. And I got all the procedures in my, um, in my interface, ready to go. That's pretty neat. Um, and the last one they have, um, from Microsoft, There's, and this is a brand new one for version 20, is that, let's here, I'll find, I got a report here. And uh, this is a, uh, just a, a skeleton of report. Nonetheless, you can see that we have, you know, we have two layouts. We have specified a default layout. Uh, but of course with version 20, we have the new rendering structure. So we got another code action here, say convert to rendering, boom. So our default layout changes to default rendering layout. And we get the new rendering section here with the layouts we had before. Um, so the, 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 the problem here is that of course, this is, this is hidden away. In a, in a in a setting that is not turned on by default, and you know the discovery is isn't there uh, unless you go poke and and the problem again that there's no way unless you mess with the alphabet or whatever to make sure that you know the interesting settings, the most used settings come up front or something like that. Uh, um, so you can look at the 
the 200 plus videos that are on the channel and see that that those are 200 plus videos where those code code actions were never used because I had no clue they were there. Uh, maybe I should have read some blog posts or somewhere and figured it out, but I didn't. And I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one. Um, so hopefully you can use these now. I'm, I'm going to use them anyway. I, f I find them quite, quite cool. And, you know, if we start using them, then we can also start telling Microsoft, hey, it would be nice to have a code action that will do A, B, and C, and Z. Um, in, instead of telling them, hey, you should totally do something that will convert if statement to case. Uh, well, I, I was complaining about the, the interface thing, but uh, anyway, so that's the hidden gems. Um, let me know in comments below if you you would use these or if there's other uh, code action that you, you need uh, or would think would be cool to have. Uh, I would love to hear from that. And when you're done with that, then this video is lined up for you by the almighty YouTube algorithm. So go check that one out and uh, I'll see you there. Take care. Bye.